this meeting of the Gadsden City Council will now come to order. The chair calls on City Clerk Ivan Nelson for the roll call. Councilwoman Tolles? Here. Councilman Williams? Here. Worthy? Here. Eccles? Here. Billingsley? Here. Councilman Cannon is absent today. Councilman Reed? Here. We have a quorum present and our meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask President Williams to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to assemble today. Father, we thank you for all of those in attendance. Lord God, we thank you for those who have taken on the responsibility of the business of the city of Gaston, Father. Father, we thank you that uh, that these men and women are committed to their assignments, Lord God, and we ask that you will continue to bless this great city, Father God, continue to grow this great city, Father God, and, and we ask a, you know, a special portion of favor uh, over this city, Father God, and through it, through it all, Father, we recognize you not only for what you are, Father God, but for who you are, for it's in Jesus' name we ask it all, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work sessions and city council meetings held on December 15th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payment of accounts for the weeks of December 11th through the 17th and the 18th through the 24th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Proclamations, Mayor. Yep. <clears throat> I really don't, it's not a, exactly a proclamation, but uh, we got some real special guests here today. The uh, <clears throat> A, B, and C teams, uh, Gaz and Titans, all three teams won the uh, championship in their leagues this year. <coughs> and if, if uh, you would, I would like for uh, Coach Spencer and, and all the kids, all the coaches, y'all come up here and line up across the front. We want to see you on TV. And Coach, you can call out their names and introduce everybody because I'm not familiar with all the names. That's okay. You got just line up. Thank y'all for inviting us today. Uh, it's, it's a really hard working group of kids. We were proud to have them this year and um, had an accomplishment that has not been achieved by any other team since the beginning of the league. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, where all three teams won their championships. This is a regional league. This is not just a local league. This is a, a regional league. I think it encompasses five counties. And um, I'm really proud of these guys. Um, starting here, this is my son, Christian Williams. Um, Harrison Williams, Kamari <coughs> Smith, Mason Coley. What's your name? Jaden Walker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so, not all of these guys are mine. I had the A team, but we had some uh, some B teamers and uh, C teamers as well. Uh, who's that right there? All right, Cameron, Cameron Ritchie, um, okay. Evan Partridge. What's your name, man? Tremonte Williams. All right. Uh, this is my superstar nose tackle, uh, Javarius Bush. Javarius Bush, I'm sorry. Um, and his little brother, what's your, what's your first name? Javarius. Okay, that's Javarius, and that's T Tavarius, my fault. Um, our center, Gray Skelton. And is that Malik? Okay, Malik Woods. And can't see your head over there. 
who is that? Uh, the low boys, I forget you, which one is which. Okay, and those are Coach Rose's son. And um, Aaron. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I ain't seen him over there. He, he got swallowed up in there. <laughs> right. Ian Lindsay is in there somewhere. And um, that is um, Aaron Richard, our, our other nose tackle over there. Great group of guys, great group of parents. We had a wonderful time this year. I thank them for trusting us with them, but the hardworking guys, and there's a lot of talent coming through, coming through this city. Oh, also, <clears throat> our uh, organization president, Coach Keith Coley, and uh, our A-team offensive coordinator, Coach Matt Coley. Yes. Oh, Matt, Matt Skelton, I'm sorry. Y'all <laughs> 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 no. And uh, we had several other coaches that could not be here, but um, Coach did a great job, put a lot of time into it. Uh, we had a really classy organization, a lot of good folks this year. Um, none of the ugly stuff that you hear about youth football. A lot of classy folks, a lot of hardworking kids and, and hardworking parents. So I'm um, really proud of these guys, and I appreciate you all inviting us here. Coach Spencer, uh, we're, we're proud of y'all. This is another good reason why Gaston is known as the City of Champions. <laughs> and I thought that uh, the coaches there might have been twins for a minute when you were saying that. <laughs> Spencer, when you get old like me, you'll forget what you're about to say even if you know it. So you did a good yeah, job. This looks good. Yes, sir. <laughs> Great job, a, and there are so many young men. Many of us participated in youth sports and never got the chance to win a championship. So that's something you'll always be proud of for sure. Mm -hmm. So uh, where are you, Kamari? Kamari Smith, raise your hand. That's I, I have to point him out because that's a relative of mine. There, he's going to be a good one. He's going to be a good one coming up. So, all right. May I say something? I, I'd like to just commend the coaches because. These guys don't get paid now. They, they do it because they love it. And, right. and I'm just thankful that they put that kind of effort into our young folks. That's a very good point. Unfinished business. Um, the, the nuisances on property located at 1427 East Broad Street have been abated by the owner. Therefore, no action by the council is needed. Um, the nuisances on property located at 104 Elmwood Avenue have been abated as well by the owner. Therefore, no action by the council is needed. Item number 8C is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at 203 East Chestnut Street in District 4, Colonial Arms Properties, LLC, and EVA Bank being the last known owners. This resolution was tabled for 30 days on November 24th. What is the pleasure of the council? Well, I move that we table this for another 30 days. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to table the resolution for 30 days, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to table for an additional 30 days. This is the time and place as advertised to conduct a public hearing allowing anyone to speak in opposition to or in favor of a resolution approving issuance of an alcoholic beverage license. Uh, Amisha Patel and Sanjay Patel doing business as Rainbow Food Mart 109 have applied for an off-premises only retail beer and table wine license at 232 West Megan Boulevard in District 3. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? What is the pleasure of the council? Move to adopt. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution approving issuance <coughs> of an alcoholic beverage license. Franco Antonelli doing business as Blue Chop House, 
has applied for a restaurant retail liquor license at 538C Broad Street in District 5. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? What is the pleasure of the council? I move to adopt. Second. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution approving issuance of an alcoholic beverage license. Franco Antonelli doing business as the seller has applied for a lounge retail liquor license at 538D Broad Street in District 5. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? What is the pleasure of the council? Move I'm to adopt. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution approving issuance of an alcoholic beverage license. Willoth LLC doing business as Rainbow Star Food Mart has applied for off-premises only retail beer and table wine license at 2701 West Meekin Boulevard in District 6. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? What is the pleasure of the council? Move to adopt. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution approving issuance of an alcoholic beverage license. Mi Puebla Gazden LLC doing business as Mi Puebla Supermarket has applied for an uh, on or off premises retail beer and table wine license, license at 2519 West Megan Boulevard in District 6. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? What is the pleasure of the council? Move to adopt. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, do you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our final public hearings are ordinances adopting the 2015 additions of the International Residential Existing Building, Plumbing, Mechanical, Building, Fuel, Gas, Fire, and Property Maintenance Codes, and the 2014 edition of the National Electrical Code. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to any of these ordinances? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? These nine ordinances have been presented today for first reading, and the council will vote on them next week. New business, is there any new business? Yes, Mr. President, I have three, and I'll take them in order. This is ordinance 637, and it's a request from the Parks and Recreation Department, and I ask for unanimous consent for consideration. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I move for adoption. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? This is an agreement uh, with the uh, Alabama Bass Federation for a fishing tournament that's going to be held June the 10th and 11, 2016 at the Gaston Coosa Landing, and it's budgeted at $7,000. Okay. Is there any additional discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. My second uh, ordinance, 639, for consideration is the request from Parks and Recreation, and I ask for unanimous consent. Uh, Second. 
Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today under new business, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I move for adoption. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Yes, this is also a uh, Alabama Bass Federation for a Fishing Tournament, but it's going to be held February the 20th, 2016 at Coosey Landing, and it's budgeted at $3,000. Okay. Is there any additional discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. My uh, last item for consideration for unanimous consent is from the planning department, uh, ordinance 645, <coughs> and it's dealing with a software agreement with the Tora company for a software at Bridge, at Bridge Golf Club uh, for irrigation system. Second. Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today under new business, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I move for adoption. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Uh, this <coughs> item is budgeted for $8,744. And just so that everybody would understand, this is to make sure that the grass stays green at the golf course on Twin Bridges. <laughs> All right. Is there any additional discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Is there any more new business? Department reports, committees, boards. Okay. Remarks by the mayor and council. Mayor. <coughs> I would just like to say that the uh, past year our employees and, and uh, all the people we work with uh, have done a really, really good job. Uh, things are moving forward. We keep having more and more improvements. Uh, we got a lot of possibilities on the horizon as far as the riverfront uh, items. And uh, financially, we're good. Uh, I think we're up to about 103 policemen. Uh, you know, it, it, it always, everything goes slow. There's so much red tape, it's really hard to get a lot of things done. But we really have some good people, and we appreciate all the good work they've done in the council and everybody cooperating. That's the way you get things done. Thank you. Okay. Councilwoman Tolles. Just like to wish everyone a happy New Year's, and I still like to appreciate the coaches and the men who work with the young boys uh, to help them to be better men. Happy New Year. All right. Councilman Worthy. Yes, I'd like to say Happy New Year also. And I thank the coaches for bringing the kids and doing what you all do. I was hoping to get some of the uh, uh, athletes that left Gaston City and went on to graduate from college and play football so these young men could see and they can know that they have to get their education and they can do it too. But uh, a lot of them, they're just having bowl games, and some of them uh, are finishing up bowl games, so they weren't able to make it today. And I also want to give a shout out to Mike Hilton and Public Works, because I got a lot of complaints about the flooding uh, during the Christmas. And I, he went out, and his people went out, and they took care of everything. And I went out and rode around. Then I put it on Facebook to let people know, because I was getting a lot of complaints that this road was closed in my district. And uh, this road was closed, but I went out and we checked it, and they took care of it. So I just want to say thank you to them. And then I also want to let people know on January the 15th, we're going to have a unity parade slash Martin Luther King parade down Broad Street. Uh, they're going to line up at 1230 at the YMCA, and the parade will start at 1 p.m. So everybody come out and try to participate. Thank you. Councilman Billingsley. Uh, yes, Mayor, the, the, rec <clears throat> the Recycle Center, uh, during the holidays, so many days, I mean, it, 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 people just did not do what they needed to do. It was a mess over there. But the workers went over there and straightened it out. So we need to keep a look on that when we have holidays, because they, I mean, that Recycle Center is going over big, so they put a lot of stuff <coughs> over there. And I want to thank the workers for doing what they do even though they get paid for it, but that's what they're supposed to do. Uh, and wish everybody a happy new year. 
Councilman Reed? Yeah, just one more time, congratulations to the, to the boys for the championships. But Billy said it and uh, Worthy said it, without the coaches, you're not going to have a team without that kind of leadership. And I want to commend you all and thank you on behalf of all of us, really. Um, Happy New Year. This next year, be sure and treat every day like uh, Fourth of July and Christmas Eve, and we'll pro pretty well get along on it together. Right? <laughs> I hope. That's all. all right. I do want to echo the sentiment um, regarding the coaches um, and um, and the and the great work you've done. Obviously, you put a lot of kids up a lot into these young men. Um, and you know, again, it can't be said enough. You're volunteering your time and your efforts. And, uh, and it paid off, uh, and it manifests itself in a championship. So we really appreciate that. And I'm one, you know, who grew up in sports and who did pretty much, with the exception of uh, my educational experience, who did nothing but athletics growing up. Um, at it, I think statistics show that both <coughs> young men and young women who participate in athletics turn out to be much better citizens and realize a higher level of success uh, than, uh, than people who don't. So, uh, so I think it's important to, uh, to make sure that uh, where there is an opportunity, we keep our young people occupied. Uh, you learn so much about teamwork and, and working together and, and depending on someone else uh, besides yourself through athletics. So it's very important. And thank those parents for allowing their young people to participate. We've got so many parents out there now who just won't let their kids to participate because they don't want to take them to practice or don't want to do some of the other things. So thank, thank those parents who were in attendance who allowed their young people to participate. And of course, Happy New Year to everyone. Let's be sure to be safe uh, as, uh, as we engage in uh, the New Year activities and, and festivities. Um, Reminder, I will be uh, hosting a District 2 meeting today at Thompson Community Center at 2 p.m. Um, so uh, those who are within District 2 and, and, and not who wish to attend, please, uh, please plan to be in attendance. Uh, we'll share some, some good information and some good updates. Uh, but again, please, uh, please plan to come out and attend at 2 p.m. at Thompson Community Center today. Um, and of course, the Mayor's Ball. We, uh, had Quez Williams of the Boys Club to come up and uh, speak to us about the Mayor's Ball. And this flyer doesn't have a date on it. It's January 15th. So January 15th. 6 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, so the, so the Mayor's Ball, uh, hosted by the Boys and Girls Club, or sponsored by the Boys and Girls Club, will be held on January 15th at Convention Hall at 6 p.m. Uh, so, uh, so those uh, interested in attending who haven't done so, please reach out to uh, Quez Williams and other um, representative of the Boys and Girls Club for tickets. Okay. Is there anything else? Yeah, I've got my, to do a shout out to Ali out there, Coach Ali from Gaston City. He always messing with me, so I'm going to mess with him. <laughs> he dropped the ball on the other football players being here. He's supposed to be, no, I'm just joking. I just want to get it. I just want to. Right. He does a good job. All right. Thank you. The final announcement is our garbage schedule for this week due to the holiday, due to the New Year's holiday. Um, Thursday's garbage route will be collected on Wednesday, and Friday's route will be collected on Thursday. Okay. Is there anything else? All right. Happy New Year. I entertain a motion that we adjourn. So moved. Public work is done.